In the opening C major etude, composed in 1830, the right hand sustains sweeping semiquaver figurations in extended chordal patterns, encompassing a four octave range of linear arc shaped phrases generated by the left hand. Stylized chords patterned in arpeggios were used by earlier composers, namely J.S. Bach, whose first prelude from the 48 is particularly of relevance. This stylization underwent a transformation by Chopin, that he revered the music of Bach and Mozart above other composers, including his contemporaries, is a very important factor in Chopin interpretation. My manuscript copies from the Chopin Society archives, the National Library in Warsaw, show only two bars of this etude are marked to be forte. There are no fortissimo indications or sforzando markings, and no tempo indication. This etude is more commonly played forte to fortissimo throughout as a showpiece with excessively heavy left-hand octaves and at a very fast pace, a version less difficult to achieve on the modern grand piano, but bearing no resemblance to the manuscript copy. Some way removed from the Chopin who preferred his music played mezzo voce on the silvery thin toned Pleyel piano. This noble etude has its inspirational roots in Bach, the C major prelude from Book One of the Well Tempered Clavier. and Chopin's first etude again. Some original diminuendo markings are shown in editions, but seldom heard. To give one example, a diminuendo at bar 48 leads to the return of the opening bars. This diminuendo is usually exchanged from molto crescendo into an unmarked fortissimo. These personalised alterations to Chopin's scores should not be acceptable options when they produce an opposite concept to the composer's indications. The composer's manuscript is not merely a form of interpretative graph paper on which a performer can plot his or her own design 